All right, so that is what the Prime Minister said just a little while back. And to give us more insights in terms of what actually was the message of the Prime Minister, we are joined in by our political affairs editor, Karthike Sharma, who is joining us live from the newsroom. Good afternoon to you, Karthike. This was an important message that the Prime Minister, in fact, delivered to the nation. He was speaking, of course, on the occasion of it being Panchayati Raj Divas, and he stressed the importance of the panchayats and the local-level administration in our villages in the fight against COVID-19. There are a couple of uh, messaging here. Uh, Musale, for example, uh, the Prime Minister wants to uh, give a message, one, that the work is going on. It, the, you know, the fact that you know, COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic has overtaken the world, but it does not mean that the government machinery is not working. So, you know, he, he organized a meeting with more than 1.5 lakh uh, panchayat leaders. Secondly, in India, panchayat leaders are the nodal, I would say, nodal individual authorities who are in charge of running the administration villages. So in that context, he has touched base with those who are actually making a difference at the rural level, which means that the village level. Thirdly, this is a run-up up to the meeting which the Prime Minister is going to have uh, with all the chief ministers on 27th, on which he will probably have to take a decision whether the lockdown needs to be extended uh, post-3rd of May or not. So by doing this, there's a little bit of, I would say, political action into it. Mm -hmm. By taking into account all the village leaders, he's also actually addressing certain issues which have been confronting them. For example, how do you administer villages? Uh, what do you do with the, the issue of harvesting of crops? How do you regulate labor there? So I think by uh, getting in touch with them and telling them that, you know, you can uh, make sure that your work is done, if not completely, fully, 100%, but at least 60% through e-application, then that's the way to go forward. So I think this meeting, this video conferencing has to be seen in run-up to the right. big meeting he's going to have on 27th, Saleh. I think that, that's an important point that you made. And also one of the other things that the Prime Minister, in fact, stressed upon, Karthike, was the importance of the villages becoming self-sufficient in themselves. Now, in, in the context of COVID-19, where the Prime Minister repeatedly stressed upon do gaj ki duri, have a distance of about two meters while you interact with other people, he was talking about how important it is to ensure that COVID-19 actually does not spread. Because by and large, we've seen that at this point of time, COVID-19 still remains to a very large extent, still located with its epicenters in the cities. And the villages by and large have not been badly affected. There are two things here. And there are two very important stress words. For example, self-sufficiency and the Hindi word which you use, do gaj ki duri, which is primarily the distance. Mm -hmm. and, and gaj is the way you measure distance in rural yep. areas. Now, when we use the word self-sufficiency, that's the imagination which of India, uh, which the father of the nation, nation uh, Mahatma Gandhi had, that the villages are self-sufficient units. So, for example, what we saw at the beginning of this crisis was that the migrant labor was trying to make its way back from uh, metropolitan centers. Obviously, it was tough for them. And we say, thousands and thousands of people marching across the highways and trying to reach uh, their villages. You know, they, they, walk, they must have walked 500 kilometers, 300 kilometers. Some even walked more than that, but they did that. So if villages are self-sufficient, then you somehow control the migration of the uh, worker. So I think that was, again, an uh, important word which the Prime Minister used, that if villages are self-sufficient, it helps you combat pandemic. Second important word which he used was... Do gaj ki duri, which is if you maintain those norms of social distancing, which people in villages do, then you again help uh, in combating the pandemic because approach of the government, unlike South Korea, which is uh, test and trace. So India's approach has been isolate, test and trace. So isolation is coming before that because our population base is so big that it's nearly impossible to test everyone. So All first right. we isolate them and then we go ahead. But then I would again stress that this meeting should be seen in run-up to the meeting of 27th and in response to the meeting which the Congress had yesterday uh, with all its chief ministers and senior leaders and spoke about rural distress. So, you know, you cannot take politics uh, out of this video conferencing also. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Karthike Sharma, for joining us and getting us all those insights into this very important meeting. And this, of course, is a meeting that is...